Hello everyone, my name is Denny and I'm a personal trainer at Humber College. Today I'll be taking you through a stretch routine. This can be a great way to de-stress and loosen up after a long day of studying. Before we start, you'll need a yoga mat, chair, a band, or a clean towel. Don't worry if you struggle with some of these stretches. Just try your best and don't push yourself too hard. This is a time for relaxation. Anyways, I'm glad you're here. Let's begin. We'll start off with knee hugs, which will target the glutes. Grab your right knee and bring it towards your chest while the left leg stays flat on the floor. Most of these stretches will last 30 seconds. Slowly inhale and exhale and try to release any tension in your body. Now, we'll switch sides. The beauty of stretching is that you'll better understand your body and what needs fixing. It's also a great way to escape, to get away from the news and what's going on nowadays. Relax, 15 seconds. We will perform a hamstring stretch. You'll need a band or a towel. Place it under your foot and grab both ends of the band until you are able to extend the knee. Lay on your back and bring your foot up to the ceiling while keeping the other leg flat on the floor. As you can see, I struggle with this one. If it's too painful, lower your foot a little bit. Remember, nice and easy. Now, switch sides. Awesome job everyone. We'll now perform a cobra. Lay in your stomach with hands just in front of your shoulders. Slowly extend the elbows until your chest is facing forward. If your hips leave the floor, place your hands further forward from the shoulders. Remember to inhale and exhale. We will quickly transition to a child's pose. Keep the arms extended and bring your butt towards your heels. Try to sink down to the floor, relaxing the neck muscles and loosening up the body. Here we go, 20 seconds. This is called a pigeon stretch. It will target the hip muscles. Imagine crossing your legs, but the left leg is extended and behind you while the right leg stays put. You can lean your chest forward for a greater stretch.
switch to your right leg. Another stretch I found helpful was simply crossing your legs and reaching forward with your hands. You get to stretch both the hips and the lower back. If this is too much for your knees or you're feeling too much discomfort, you can always opt for a figure four stretch. That can be done standing or seated, like at a desk. Good job everyone, I hope you're doing well so far. You will need a chair for this T-spine stretch. This will target the upper back which requires mobility. While on your knees, place the chair about an arm's length in front of you. Extend the elbows, inhale, then exhale while dropping the chest towards the floor. Now, in a half kneeling position with the left leg forward, squeeze the right glute muscles. This will allow for a stretch of the hip flexors. You can also raise the right arm to get a greater stretch of the hip muscles and the upper back. Now, switch sides. We'll return to our half kneeling position, but this time, we'll slowly drive the knee forward until you feel a stretch of the calf muscles. However, if your knee collapses inward, you won't get an effective stretch. You'll notice I put my left arm beside my knees with my fingers under the foot. This is to maintain the arch. Switch sides. Remember to ease into the stretch and don't hold your breath. You've had a long day. Let go. Our final half kneeling stretch will be the toughest one. Place your back knee further behind you, then place your hands further forward, almost like you're being pulled in two directions. By unlocking the elbows and dropping the chest down, you'll experience a greater stretch. Inhale and exhale. Release. Now, the other side. Let go of all the negative stress. Really focus on emptying your mind and filling it with positivity. You're doing something that will help you. You got this.
Good job, everyone. We're about halfway through this routine, so if you need a break or some water, help yourself. If not, let's continue. We'll be sitting on our feet. If your muscles are as stiff as mine, you'll feel a stretch in your ankles and quads. We'll also bring the arm across to hit the shoulders. 20 to 30 seconds, then switch. Now, switch sides. This is a neck stretch. Still sitting on your feet, take your right hand, grab the left side of your head and gently pull it to the right while taking your left hand and putting it behind your back. That was a mouthful. You'll have to experiment and find a sweet spot. Once you find some tightness, hold and continue to inhale and exhale. Switch sides. You don't have to do this sitting on your feet. This can easily be done while working at your desk or sitting in a lecture. I noticed after a long day of studying or gaming, my whole upper body would feel like a board. That's why we're here. A few more seconds. Transitioning to a quadruple position, keep your elbows extended, then very slowly, move your chest forward. Almost as if you are trying to look over an edge. This one's for the wrist flexors. Rock back and forth. We'll do something similar with the wrist extensors. This time, strain the elbows, place the back of the hands on the yoga mat, lean backwards, and hold. This is called a cat camel. It involves a mixture of flexion and extension. We're going to exhale while slowly flexing the back and neck to form an arch, then inhale while extending the back and neck. This is one of my favorite non-static stretches. I do these as part of my dynamic warm-up before a workout and my cool-down. You can also incorporate a dog wag by flexing your sides. 15 to 20 seconds. Here we go. This one is called a frog stretch. I've recently incorporated this into my routine and though I'm a bit rusty, it feels amazing. You'll spread your knees out and try to keep your heels and toes on the ground. 
with extended arms, slowly rock back and hold when you feel a stretch in your inner thigh. Let's aim for 8 to 10 reps. I think in this video I did 9 for some reason, but anyways, enjoy. This prone chest stretch is a little bit tricky, but we'll get through this. Start prone in a push-up position. Take your left arm and extend it to the side. Now, bend your right knee and rotate your body so that it comes across the left leg and touches the floor. You can push your right hand to intensify the stretch. Three seconds, everyone. You can now switch. Take your time with the setup. Once you're ready, rotate and hold for another 30 seconds. This one is a deep squat. Try your best to stay as relaxed as possible. As you can see, I look like I can fall asleep in this position. I'm doing a combination of rounding the back, pushing my knees out with my elbows, and rocking side to side. You don't have to do this. If you want to keep things simple and just hold the squat, that's perfectly fine. We're going to end where we started. We'll get into a cobra position and we'll hold this for 10 to 15 seconds. You'll now shift your hands forward so your butt is lifted, inhale, then exhale while dropping the chest. Again, 10 to 15 seconds. Finally, take your right hand and reach for your left hand. Hold for 10 to 15 seconds, then switch. We'll just lay on our stomachs and rest our heads as this session comes to a close. I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope you had a great time and learned something new. If you enjoyed it, please share it with your friends and family. I want to wish you all good health and success during this stressful time. Take care and stay fit.